enough is enough. No more prevarication, no more delay. Parliament would sit there tonight and vote no matter how late it goes. No ifs, no buts, these flights are going to Rwanda. This was the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak talking about the contentious Rwanda bill. The United Kingdom's Upper House of Parliament passed the bill on 22nd of April on a UK Supreme Court ruling that the policy was illegal. The bill plans for deporting undocumented immigrants to the East African nation of Rwanda on the grounds of stopping the inflow of small boats coming into the country, carrying migrants who are attempting to escape violence, prosecution and instability in a range of countries. What is the bill about and why was it deemed to be divisive? Let's take a closer look. Lords, which is the upper house of the parliament, passed the Safety of Rwanda Asylum and Immigration Bill. It essentially says that Rwanda is a safe third country for the purposes of removing its individuals back to that country. According to the government's fact sheet, the bill was introduced in order to respond to the Supreme Court's concerns. In its ruling last year in November, the Supreme Court said that Rwanda couldn't be relied upon to not mistreat asylum seekers. The court held that there is a risk of asylum seekers being subjected to the same threats and safety concerns that they have attempted to flee from. In April 2022, then UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson signed a deal with the Rwandan government on allowing the UK to send some asylum seekers back to Rwanda. Under the scheme, people arriving in Britain as undocumented starways in trucks or boats would be flown 6,400 kilometers back to their country. Once there, they would be assessed for eventual resettlement. The UK government paid its Rwandan counterpart millions of pounds for housing and integrating these migrants. Highlighting the dangers of transferring refugees and asylum seekers to third countries without sufficient safeguards, the United Nations Refugee Agency had said they must not be traded like commodities and transferred abroad for processing. In 2022, the European Court of Human Rights stopped the first plane from departing the UK for Rwanda. Its ruling also barred the UK from removing migrants through such a scheme until the completion of the legal battle against it in Britain. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has now said that the first flights to Rwanda would take off in 10 to 12 weeks. We will begin the process of removing those identified for the first flight. We have prepared for this moment. To detain people while we prepare to remove them, we've increased detention spaces to 2,200. To quickly process claims, we've got 200 trained, dedicated caseworkers ready and waiting. To deal with any legal cases quickly and decisively, the judiciary have made available 25 courtrooms and identified 150 judges who could provide over 5,000 sitting days.